Have you ever wondered what really happens when Bruce Banner transforms into that green destruction machine? What makes the Hulk practically indestructible and capable of feats that defy the laws of physics? Honestly, I think few Marvel characters have an anatomy as fascinating and complex as the Emerald Giant. Let's dive deep into the extraordinary biology of the strongest being on the planet perhaps in the universe and discover the secrets behind the incredible green wrecking machine. Bruce Banner was born to Dr. Brian Banner and Rebecca Banner. While his mother loved him deeply, his father, driven by insane jealousy, hated him for being the object of Rebecca's love. Brian believed his work with radiation had mutated his DNA, resulting in a mutant child. The reality was simpler. Bruce was just an exceptionally intelligent child. Bruce's life changed forever during the test of a gamma bomb he himself developed. When saving teenager Rick Jones, who had trespassed into the testing field, Bruce was exposed to a massive dose of gamma radiation. This radiation, instead of permanently killing him, triggered an unprecedented cellular transformation, creating the entity known as the Hulk. What makes the Hulk's anatomy so impressive isn't just his appearance, but the complete cellular restructuring that occurs during transformation. When Banner transforms, his body mass increases drastically in a matter of seconds. Conventional science would say this is impossible, but gamma radiation fundamentally altered how Banner's cells function. No joke. We're talking about roughly 800 pounds of muscle tissue and bone marrow that appear practically out of nowhere. The gamma radiation energy allows Banner's cells to absorb matter from the environment or from alternate dimensions, explaining this impossible increase in mass. During transformation, the gamma radiation accumulated in Banner's body is released through the pores of his skin, resulting in the characteristic green coloration. This isn't just a cosmetic effect, the radiation is constantly reinforcing and regenerating the Hulk's tissues. Marvel scientists theorize that the Hulk's skin possesses properties similar to an organic metal, with cells interwoven so densely that they can resist virtually any physical impact. His muscles are approximately 1,000 times denser than normal humans, allowing him to perform feats of strength that defy comprehension. What few know is that each of the Hulk's internal organs also undergoes a radical transformation. His heart, several times larger than a normal human's, pumps gamma radiation charged blood through his body at a pressure that would burst ordinary human arteries. The Hulk's lungs can process oxygen with supernatural efficiency, allowing him to survive in oxygen-poor environments or even in the vacuum of space for limited periods. His digestive system can extract energy from virtually any substance, though we rarely see him eating. In fact, the Hulk seems to obtain most of his energy directly from the gamma radiation stored in his cells. This is wild, but the Hulk's brain is perhaps the most fascinating organ. While Banner's intelligence is often suppressed during transformation, the Hulk's brain maintains surprisingly sophisticated cognitive functions, even in his most savage states. Studies in the comics suggest that the Hulk's brain has unique neural connections that allow amplified emotional processing essentially, he thinks with anger. In some versions, like Professor Hulk, we see that it's possible to maintain Banner's intelligence with the Hulk's strength, suggesting the brain can adapt to accommodate both personalities. The Hulk's strength is truly a phenomenon without parallel. In my opinion, few concepts in comics are as brilliant as the idea that the angrier Hulk gets, the stronger he becomes. This effectively eliminates any upper limit to his power potential. In measurable terms, the Hulk has demonstrated the ability to lift over 150 billion tons in his base state, and that's just the beginning. When truly enraged, he has generated enough force to destroy asteroids twice the size of Earth with a single punch, creating shockwaves that reverberated across infinite dimensions. The Hulk's speed is frequently underestimated. Despite his enormous mass, he can move at speeds exceeding 473 miles per hour, fast enough to keep up with missiles. His reflexes are equally impressive, allowing him to catch arrows fired by Hawkeye in mid-flight and even hit the Silver Surfer moving at supersonic speeds. He routinely dodges point-blank gunfire and missiles, demonstrating surprising agility for someone his size. One of the most incredible aspects of the Hulk's physiology is his seemingly infinite durability. His skin is impervious to conventional weapons, with only materials like adamantium and vibranium known to effectively pierce it. He has survived nuclear explosions, falls from orbit, extreme pressures, maximum heat without blistering, maximum cold without freezing, and massive impacts without injury. This is crazy. He has withstood the Human Torch's Nova Blast, 1 million degrees Fahrenheit, and crushing pressures from the Juggernaut without damage. When the Maestro's War Dog, a robot that claimed to crush adamantium in 7.3 seconds, clamped onto the Hulk's exposed neck, it failed to even break his skin before being torn to pieces. The Hulk's healing factor is possibly his most defining power. Connected to the place known as the One Below All, he possesses a remarkable regenerative capacity, controlling his healing rate and manipulating his biomass. Even when dismembered and placed in separate containers, he can reconstitute himself through sheer force of will, 
His healing factor allows exceptionally rapid recovery from physical injuries, regenerating damaged or destroyed body parts much more efficiently than normal humans. He has regenerated internal organs and tissues in alternate realities, and even regenerated a significant portion of his head after it was torn off. One of the Hulk's most impressive abilities is his capacity to leap enormous distances. Using his incredibly developed leg muscles, he can perform extraordinary jumps. As his anger intensifies, his strength increases, allowing for even greater distances. He has covered 10 miles in a single leap, moving at 40 times the speed of sound. He jumped from ground level to the top of Mount Olympus in a single bound and has nearly reached Earth's orbit on multiple occasions. He even reached Mars's orbit with a single leap. The Hulk demonstrates remarkable precision in his jumps and landings, intercepting missiles in mid-flight and landing on nearly invisible islands from great heights. Speaking of specific abilities, the Hulk can inhale vast amounts of air for various effects. He can expel air with tremendous force, knocking down forests and dispersing armed troops. This ability allows him to overcome superhuman opponents like Mr. Fantastic. By clapping his hands, the Hulk generates tremendously powerful sonic vibrations comparable to the strongest recorded hurricane. This thunderclap has dispersed the Sandman's attacks, extinguished the Human Torch's flames, and severely weakened the Red Hulk. It possesses enough power to knock down the Avengers. His thunderclap even countered Nightcrawler's sonic beams, shattering an entire universe. He can also create devastating shockwaves by stomping his feet, creating tremors that disrupt opponents and demolish structures. The Hulk's endurance is equally impressive. His body neutralizes fatigue toxins that build up in muscles during physical activity. He has jumped non-stop for an entire day without tiring. In an enraged state, he can exert himself at peak capacity for weeks before fatigue significantly affects him. Just like his strength, his endurance increases with anger. While enraged, the Hulk managed to stalemate with Thor in Warrior's Madness, a state that temporarily increases Thor's strength and endurance tenfold at the cost of diminished intelligence. A giant robotic sentinel calculated the Hulk's endurance as virtually limitless. The Hulk's apparent immortality is another fascinating aspect of his biology. The Hulk cannot die permanently. The exact nature of this ability remains unknown, but it is suggested that after the death of the Hulk or Banner, the green door opens, allowing resurrection. It is suggested that Banner's other self facilitates this, as Banner prefers peace instead of rebirth as the Hulk. Initially, it was theorized that damaging the hypothalamus, the brain region that controls the nervous system and emotions, could kill the Hulk, but subsequent resurrections prove that gamma mutations cannot be prevented from reviving, even with brain destruction. After being resurrected by the Challenger, Banner's death would result in automatic resurrection and transformation into the Hulk at nightfall. What makes the Hulk truly unique among superheroes is the duality of his nature. Bruce Banner represents the brilliant scientific mind, while the Hulk is the physical embodiment of repressed anger and mental imbalance. This duality is more than a simple division of personality, it's a constant battle for control. Over the years, we've seen various Hulk personalities emerge, each representing a different aspect of Banner's fragmented psyche. The Grey Hulk, Joe Fixit, is more cunning and calculating, the Savage Green Hulk is pure uncontrolled anger, the Professor Hulk represents the integration of Banner's intelligence with the Hulk's strength, and the Immortal Hulk, Devil Hulk, is darker and vengeful. The Hulk's relationship with Gamma Radiation goes far beyond the initial exposure. In the comics, it was revealed that the Hulk is effectively the one below all, or more precisely, the destructive avatar of its evil counterpart. This potentially grants him access to an infinite source of raw power. This cosmic aspect of the Hulk's nature explains why he continues to get stronger over the years and why he seems to be truly immortal. Gamma radiation didn't just alter his body, it connected him to primordial forces of the multiverse. It's amazing how even after decades of stories, we still discover new aspects of the Hulk's biology. During the Immortal Hulk arc, we learned that each cell in the Hulk's body possesses its own consciousness. If a part of Banner's body is removed, that part can still transform into the Hulk independently. This explains how, even when completely dismembered, the Hulk can regenerate. Each cell knows it's part of the Hulk and fights to reunite with the whole. The Hulk's breathing is another fascinating aspect of his physiology. His lungs are capable of processing toxic gases without adverse effect, and he can hold his breath for extended periods. This allows him to survive in space or underwater for significant time, but most impressive is how he can use his breath as a weapon, expelling air with enough force to knock down opponents or disperse gas clouds. The control he has over his lungs is extraordinary, especially considering that most of the Hulk's functions are governed by instinct and emotion. The Hulk's circulatory system is equally fascinating. His blood is charged with gamma radiation, giving it unique properties. Blood transfusions from the Hulk to normal people have resulted in similar transformations, though generally unstable and dangerous. 
His heart beats at a rate that would kill a normal human, pumping blood through blood vessels that need to be incredibly resistant to withstand the pressure. In states of extreme anger, reports indicate that the Hulk's heart can beat more than 500 times per minute, sending waves of gamma energy through his body that further increase his strength. The Hulk's nervous system represents another biological puzzle. As a being driven primarily by emotion, particularly anger, his neurons must process emotional stimuli in a fundamentally different way than normal humans. Marvel scientists theorize that the Hulk's synapses are constantly flooded with anger-related neurotransmitters, but his body has adapted to use this emotional energy as physical fuel. In essence, the Hulk's anger is directly converted into physical strength through a unique biochemical process. The Hulk's senses are amplified beyond human limits. His vision can detect movement at extreme distances and works perfectly in near-total darkness. His hearing is sharp enough to detect heartbeats hundreds of yards away. His smell can track prey like a predator, and it has been demonstrated that he can smell fear. These enhanced senses complement his physical abilities, making him not just a battle tank but also a formidable hunter. Interestingly, the Hulk's body demonstrates extreme environmental adaptability. He has survived in environments that would instantly kill normal humans, the depths of the ocean without breathing equipment, the vacuum of space, and even inside stars. This adaptability suggests that his cells can quickly reconfigure to protect him from almost any extreme environmental condition he encounters. The relationship between Banner's psychological trauma and the Hulk's physiology cannot be underestimated. The abuse he suffered at the hands of his father created deep emotional scars that found physical expression through the Hulk. In a way, the Hulk represents the ultimate defense mechanism when Banner feels threatened. His body responds by transforming into a virtually indestructible entity. This mind-body connection is so fundamental to the Hulk's nature that some comic book psychiatrists have suggested that if Banner ever completely overcame his traumas, the Hulk might cease to exist. As for the Hulk's jumping capabilities, they truly defy physics. Considering the Hulk's mass, the force necessary to propel him hundreds of miles in a single leap would generate devastating shockwaves at the point of departure. However, somehow his body channels this energy primarily into vertical and horizontal movement, minimizing collateral damage. This suggests some kind of instinctive control over kinetic energy, another unique aspect of his physiology. One of the most impressive and rarely mentioned abilities of the Hulk is his adaptability in combat. Although often portrayed as a brainless brute force, the Hulk has repeatedly demonstrated the ability to learn and adapt during battles. He can adjust his tactics based on the opponent's weaknesses, a combat instinct that transcends conscious intelligence. This adaptability is another aspect of his unique biology. His body seems to remember opponents and develop countermeasures in real time. Honestly, I think few truly understand the Hulk's potential. While characters like Superman and Thor are often cited as the most powerful, the Hulk has an ace they don't have, unlimited potential. The physics of the Marvel Universe confirms that there is no theoretical upper limit to the Hulk's strength. It simply continues to increase proportionally to his anger. This means that, given enough stimulation, the Hulk could theoretically become the most powerful being in the multiverse. The Hulk's feats over the years confirm this almost divine potential. He has destroyed a planet with a single punch, sustained the weight of a star, resisted attacks from Galactus, defeated the Silver Surfer in direct combat, fought an enraged Thor to a standstill, held together the tectonic plates of a planet to prevent earthquakes, broken dimensions with the force of his punch, and perhaps most impressively, as Worldbreaker Hulk, he threatened to destroy the very structure of planet Earth simply by standing on it, emitting energy waves so intense that continents began to break apart. What makes all these feats even more impressive is that they were accomplished by a being who, at his core, is human. Unlike Thor, a god, or Superman, an alien, the Hulk was born from human science and human tragedy. He represents what happens when the latent potential within humanity is unlocked both for destruction and salvation. The question that often arises is, is the Hulk truly immortal? The evidence suggests yes, he has survived practically everything the Marvel Universe can throw at him. Even when his body was completely destroyed, he returned. In the Immortal Hulk arc, we discovered that Banner and Hulk always return at sunset, no matter how they died. This immortality is linked to the cosmic place known as the One Below All, suggesting that the Hulk is connected to the very fundamental forces of reality. Speaking of fundamental forces, have you ever wondered how the Hulk's body interacts with time and space? On various occasions, the Hulk has demonstrated resistance to temporal and dimensional manipulations. Beings capable of manipulating reality often discover that the Hulk is peculiarly resistant to their powers. This suggests that his unique biology anchors him to reality in a way that few other beings experience. Perhaps it is this connection 
that allows his apparent immortality he is so fundamentally linked to the fabric of reality that he cannot be permanently removed from it. The scariest aspect of the Hulk's biology may be the latent potential that remains unexplored. If, as suggested in the comics, his strength truly has no upper limits, then theoretically there exists a version of the Hulk capable of destroying universes with a single punch. This terrifying possibility is probably why so many heroes and villains have tried to cure Banner over the years, not out of compassion, but out of fear of what the Hulk could become if his anger were taken to truly cosmic extremes. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to face the Hulk? To imagine standing before that mountain of green muscle, knowing that each passing second he becomes stronger, faster, and more resistant? It's a terrifying thought that explains why even the most powerful Marvel heroes often resort to escape or dissuasion when confronted with a truly enraged Hulk. If there's a lesson to be learned from the Hulk's anatomy, it's that human potential both for destruction and survival can be truly limitless. Bruce Banner, a fragile and tormented scientist, carries within him the power to challenge gods. It's a powerful metaphor for the duality of human nature and the extremes we're capable of. So, what do you think? Is the Hulk truly the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe? Or is there some hidden limit to his potential that we haven't yet seen? Leave your opinion in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep analysis of the Hulk's anatomy, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content about the scientific and biological aspects of your favorite superheroes. Until next time,